I'm not sure if this is already regarded as a fallacy, but if it is not, I would like to present the lack of authority fallacy. It's opposite of the appeal to authority fallacy. In the lack of authority fallacy, when you're debating an opponent, essentially you show that your opponent takes a position that someone who is generally regarded as foolish or someone who lacks authority also takes. Therefore, your point uh, is you know, completely refuted because you agree with somebody foolish. To give you an example, I just thought of this when I stumbled across an old video of Christine O'Donnell. You all may remember her from the 2010 elections. And she asked the question, where in the Constitution is separation of church and state? Many people, of course, started laughing, and let's face it, Christine O'Donnell is very easy to laugh at. Well, just because Christine O'Donnell said it doesn't mean it's wrong. You see, she was actually right about that. Um, as foolish as she is, and she probably can't explain why she was right about it, but she was. Have you ever heard the expression, a broke clock is right twice a day? Well, my point is, simply showing that someone foolish said something doesn't mean what they said is wrong. Foolish people are not always wrong, just by chance they're bound to be right sometimes. And regarding this separation of church and state example, if you don't believe me, I'll post a link to another video where I explain exactly why the Constitution doesn't guarantee separation of church and state. But my broader point here is that Someone who is otherwise foolish can still be correct, and simply agreeing with them on something doesn't necessarily make you wrong. So don't ever let anyone pin you down with that fallacy.